Hey guys, this is SoCal Val from TNA Wrestling, the princess of pro wrestling, and you're looking at InYourHeadOnline.com. All right, and we're back, and we are joined by Team Canada's Showtime, Eric Young. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, glad to have you here. How's it going? Good, good, real good. Yeah, you're telling us you're down in Florida? Yeah, still stayed for a couple of days and uh, taking some sun and check out the rides and just relax and have a good time. Cool. You get a you get a deal on the rides? Yeah, yeah. We we get into a lot of stuff free down here, so that's why I stick around. <laughs> People think I'm important here, so when I go home, I'm just a regular person. Yeah, well, that's a yeah. yeah. It's an added benefit. Free rides. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what did you think of sacrifice? Uh, my favorite one. Yeah. Well, what did you think of this this uh, weekend's pay per view? Oh, the pay per view. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I had a fun. It was uh for what it was, you know, sixteen guys. I could have uh, could have gotten messy, but I thought it was well done. And uh, I mean, I thought I thought the pay per view came out well. Mhm. You got quite a reaction when you came out. Yeah. Yeah. Any, I'm not uh, sure what's going on there, but. Yeah. Any plans? Maybe turn you out, uh, babyface. <laughs> Um, I'm sure there's plans. I mean, I don't know after that how there could be. Like, it's, this isn't the first time it's happened, but that's that's the loudest that it's ever happened. Um, I mean, that's the first time I've really been by myself, not mm-hmm. with another member of Team Canada coming down the ramp. So, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Either which, whatever they decide to do, I'm looking forward to it. But uh, uh, I've been ill for you know over two years, so being baby face would be something different and something else to work on, so it'd be, I'm really looking forward to it. And that yeah. was a masterful headlock. Yeah, yeah, there's no doubt. <laughs> it's one of my best, one of my best moves. Oh, man. <laughs> Master the headlock. <laughs> so, if you, if you, would you uh, look forward to going singles? Maybe have a run at the uh, X Division title? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, like, I mean, before I got to TNA, I, I might have had maybe 20, 25 tag matches ever. Like, I'd been wrestling seven years before I got mm-hmm. to TNA. Mm-hmm. And maybe 20, 25 matches uh, as a tag, and maybe, you know, 30 matches as a heel. Like, I mean, I predominantly wrestled as a baby face and as a singles baby face. So, like, uh, up in Ontario, I was like the Hulk Hogan of, of Ontario wrestling. You know, I mean, if there, was a, you know, if there was a main event, I was in it or involved in some way. You know, if there was a belt to be won, I had it. Like, at one point, I had 14 different independent heavyweight titles, at, you know, at one time. Uh-huh. Did so, you bring them all out yeah. at once? So it was, a, it was <laughs> quite a humbling experience coming to TNA and being the guy who gets beaten up every week for Team Canada. But uh, <laughs> I'm happy to do it, man. I love doing it. Yeah. Which do you enjoy uh, more, working as babyface or heel? I, I like babyface because it's more of a challenge. You know, it's it's not as easy to get people to like you as it is to hate you. Mm-hmm. Like, especially being doing the Canadian gimmick. I mean, it's, it's a built-in thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know what Canada ever did to America, <laughs> but they when we first started, they hated our guts. Yeah, I think it's only in wrestling where uh, Americans just hate Canadians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Doug Man, he asks, how did you get the name Showtime? Um, it was kind of given to me by uh, the fans, and uh, I, when I very, very first started, I was uh, the director, Eric Young. So, uh, I, I love movies. I've always been interested in film. I took drama all the way through high school. I did, uh, like, improv Olympics. I did film. I did, uh, like, a stunt workshop. I did all kinds of stuff mm-hmm. that uh, had to do with stuff like that, and uh, I just wanted to, you know, have part of that spill over into my wrestling, so it became the director of Young, and then I was like, I just go out there and wrestle, so I wasn't really directing anything, so I just went with Eric Young, and it was a promo I did, and mm-hmm. I said something about Showtime, and then it just kind of stuck. Awesome. Do you did think you, the, uh, oh, you go on, intro. Uh, did you enjoy doing the vignette before lockdown? The one with, uh, you all dressed up as, like, the chaplain character? Yeah, oh, yeah, it was great. Uh, we did that, uh, in Nashville, actually, we filmed it with uh, David Zahadi and uh, Andrew Thomas. Uh, it was a blast. We, we figured it would take us about two hours. Well, that's what mm. they figured. And uh, <laughs> we did that in about 35, 40 minutes. So it was, I had a blast doing it. I love it. Anytime I get a chance to do anything like that, man, oh. it's great. That's you a think great the, uh, Yeah. I'd say, do you think the funeral segment was, like, the first time you really get to show your personality? Yeah. That was, I mean, that was the start of it for sure, you know. Um 
like I had been bugging them to, to, you know, I was like, you know, just give me a character. You know, let me play a character. I don't care what it is. Just, you know, let me play it. I think that's, you know, my one of my, my, my strong points is, is my ability to, to betray a character and make you believe that's who I am, you know, and, and make the people get behind it and, and, and you know, and feel like what, what I'm doing and what's going on. I think that's one of my strongest points. And they uh, just kind of gave it to me and let me run with it. So I'm having a blast doing it. Yeah. You enjoy getting the chance to do more promos as well? Oh, yeah, for sure. That I mean, for me, like wrestling, you know, being able to talk and being able to portray a character, that's, you know, over 50% of, of what makes pro wrestling cool, you know, and getting a chance to, to get on the mic and, you know, do little vignettes of, you know, me up in the Raptors and, you know, me, like, hunting for Sting and, right. and you know, stuff like that. It's, oh, it's great because where, you know, I was pretty much allowed to just say and, and do what I, you know, they would give me bullet points, but just let me, you know, pretty much act however I want and do whatever I want. So, yeah. very cool. Cool. Was it exciting uh, getting to work with Sting? Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's like a childhood dream come true, man. You know, like I, he was one of my, my favorite wrestlers growing up. You know what I mean? Top five favorite wrestlers growing up. And, and to be in the ring with him one on one and, you know, be involved in a storyline with him. And, you know, I got a chance to wear his old stuff and he painted my face and, oh man, it's crazy. But it was, cool. it was a very cool moment for me. Yeah. What were some of the other guys you, uh, you liked when you were growing up? Uh, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, uh, I loved Owen Hart, um, Jake Snake, Macho Man, uh, Kurt Henning, Sting, Ricky the Dragon. Those were Terry Funk, Ric Flair. Those were pretty much my favorites. Yeah. Oh, you mm-hmm. got the elbow drop from a Macho Man. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I mean, him and, him and Shawn Michaels were like two of my favorites, and they both did it, and uh, that was like one of the first things when I, I started training, and the first time they let me get on the ropes, that was the first thing I tried, so. <laughs> so you happy it with probably doesn't look as good as it does now, but. Oh, that's always good, man. What are you saying, Andrew? Oh, just a uh, hot rod. He asks, uh, how do you think TNA's Team Canada compares to WCW's Team Canada? Um, I think it's, to me, it's two different, two completely different things. Uh, I think that the Team Canada they had there was just kind of put together to, to give something for those guys to do, you know, because mm-hmm. they were, they were, you know, all good wrestlers and they didn't really have an identity. And they just kind of put them in there and put them together so they would have something to do. With us, it was, you know, we were assembled for the World X Cup, and they weren't even going to hire us. Like, it was just like a, a one-time deal, and we ended up getting so much heat and, and, and pressing everybody, you know, with our work and, and, you know, the fact that we're easy to deal with and stuff, that they ended up signing all of us. So. Mm-hmm. Wasn't, um, were you one of the original members of Team Canada? No, no. The original Team Canada was P.D. Williams. Johnny Devine, uh, Ted Hart, and, oh, I can't remember the other guys. Oh, uh, Jack Evans. Yeah. You think, uh, yeah. Teddy Hart's, uh, his attitude kind of held him back? Held him back? Uh, I have no idea. I've never met Teddy, so, yeah. um, he has quite the reputation, so I'm <laughs> right. pretty sure that's probably got something to do with it. Yeah. Um, I knew they wanted, they did at one point had talked about bringing him back. Because, uh, like his, you know, connection with the heart name and whatnot, and, and he's a hell of an athlete, you know what I mean? Like he does stuff that I've never seen anybody do. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, uh, I, I've never met him personally myself, so I can't really say, you know, I don't know. Uh, Slarty Bardfast here in our chat room, he wants to know, uh, whose idea was the scared gimmick, and does he like doing it? Because he loves it. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't, there's no one person who is directly responsible. Is it? Like I said, I was bugging them to give me a character, and if it was to be one person, I think it would be Dutch Mantel. Um, he said, you know, he wanted me to be skittish and, and kind of nervous and stuff, and I just took it and I went over the top with it, and uh, it got really good reaction and, you know, kind of set me apart from everybody else. So, I mean, I love doing it. Yeah. It wouldn't matter what the character is, but that character is a, it's a blast to do, and it, it makes my job, you know, it's challenging at times, but... I like the challenge. You know, it's fun. Yeah. You have another question from the board? Uh, let's see. Um, Sub-Zero, he asked, do you think TNA talent will be rated whenever the new ECW starts out? Do I think it'll be rated? Is that what he said? Yeah. A lot of guys picked up from TNA. Um, I'm, you know, I mean, I'm sure there will be some. I mean, I, I try not to get involved in, in uh, this aspect of it because it, just, it is just going to give you a headache. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. Um, mm-hmm. If, if that's what they choose to do, then, you know, I wish them all the, all the best. I mean, a lot of the guys here that used to work there, you know, they're my friends. And, right. and 
you know, I, I wish them all the luck if that's what they decide to do. And I'm, I'm, I think some of them would probably say, you know, turn it down because they like working here and they like being part of this and they believe in the product just like I do. So. You had some uh, dark was matches. What was that? Oh, uh, yeah. I just, uh, you had some dark matches with WWE in like 2003, I guess. Yeah. After any kind of deal? Um, I had, I did a whole bunch. There was, uh, there was like two months where I worked with them eight weeks straight almost. And, uh, the like guy was there every Monday and Tuesday, and a lot of the guys thought I was under contract, but I was never officially under contract. Just, uh, they got to, to know me, and I, I think they got to trust me. You know, they knew they could, they could put me in there. It depended on me not to mess up and, and to make their guys look good. And that's what I was there for, you know, and it was, you know, it was surreal for me being in their ring and being on their shows. So, you know, it's something I set out to do when I started, and now I can say I did it, but there was no official contract signing. Uh, I talked to Stephanie McMahon and a couple of writers once about doing a gimmick where I was a, a surfer or something, and I was like, hey, you know, sure, I like surfing. I'll be a surfer. I don't care. Yeah. So, but uh, I think just I was an unknown, and I'm not the biggest. I mean, I'm not small. I'm, you know, 5'11", 6 foot, 220 pounds. Mm-hmm. But at that time, I wasn't quite that heavy, and uh, I think that, that that probably had a lot to do with it. But, you know, everything happens for a reason, and now I'm here, and uh, we'll just see what happens, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, are you surprised you see a lot of fans with the Team Canada shirts? Uh, I mean, I don't think they would sell as well, as well as they do. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's always going to be a guy that cheer for the bad guy. Um, I think a lot of the guys that wear it are, are people that, you know, kind of understand wrestling and understand that, you know, we're there to do a job and, and we do it well. You know, Bobby and, and A1 and PD and me, are, we're all really talented guys. And uh, I think a lot of people just buy the shirt just to support the fact that, you know, you know, say, to say thank you, you know, thank you for, you know, working hard and, and uh, you know, making the product stronger. So, but, uh, I mean, it surprised me a little bit that there's that many of them. A lot of times it really takes you back. Yeah. Uh, w- which fans were better to work in front of, the uh, Orlando ones or the uh, Nashville? Um, I mean, they both had their ups and downs. Like, I know when we first started coming to Orlando, the fans here were insane, like, they were insane, and I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, the old school mentality of of overexposure. You know, like we're here every other week, so we and we do the pay per views here. So it's almost like, and it's not their fault, but it's, they're spoiled. You know what I mean? Like there, there's guys out there doing stuff that should be getting double the reaction, and they're not getting it because they've already seen everything here. You know, and we're and we're here constantly. So, mm-hmm. like I know when we did that house show in Detroit, people were were so crazy like it was so loud in that building it was a huge arena you know what I mean and there was you know over 4,000 people and it was and you couldn't even hear yourself think it was so loud you so think, uh, I think you know and I know that's in the plans of them doing more house shows and yeah. uh, you know branching out and stuff but both fans are great to work in front of uh, you know I know that everyone here you know thanks to Nashville fans for all the support while we were there and I'm sure we'll go back there sooner or later yeah I was saying so you think they you guys should uh, tour uh, maybe do the pay-per-views at a different arena once in a while. I mean, I'd like to. I I like to travel, and when I travel with TNA, I travel for free. So I'm not going to say no. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I would love to do the I would love to do the, the pay-per-views in other buildings. And I know it's something that they've talked about. But but uh, you know the, the the everyone here is smart, and they're taking the right steps, and they're not taking steps too big. You know, baby steps, and uh, is what keeps everyone here grounded, and it keeps us moving in the right direction forward. So. <clears throat> Yeah, a question from the board. Uh, I appear he wants to know if there's a story behind Tyson Duke's tassels on his uh, ring attire. <laughs> mm, uh, I think the only story is he likes tassels. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. That's a hell of a story. <laughs> and what do you think about the uh, the return of Johnny Devine and the addition of Tyson Dukes for Team Canada? What was that? Uh, what do you think about uh, the return of Johnny Devine and uh, Tyson Dukes coming in for Team Canada? I mean, it was cool for me, but uh, they're like two of my best friends, so mm-hmm. uh, it was cool for to have them back. And I think the World X Cup is a really cool thing. It gives TNA like an international feel to it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, someone here in our chat room, uh, God said, he says, do um, you have any memories from BCW? Oh, yeah, I got tons of memories from BCW. Uh, that's where I first started working for Scott Demoro. It's where I first met Petey Williams and Chris Saban and Alex Shelley. Uh, like I wrestled Petey in his fourth match ever. 
like the fourth time he was ever wrestling in front of a crowd, he, he was wrestling me. And I think I wrestled uh, Alex Shelley in like one of his first matches, and Chris Saban in one of his first matches. You know, they might have had you know six to ten matches, and and I was I was in that first six to ten. You know, so I I seen them when they first came in and seen them grow and seen them get to where they are and then was along for the ride. So, uh, yeah, I got a lot of memories from there, man. Good shows. Yeah. Do you think Team Canada's better with um, S. Scott Demore as a manager? He was there for a while. He, was, he wasn't, you know, the manager on TV for a little while. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a heel group, you know what I mean? So a manager always helps. Uh, Scott's a great character. He's really good on the mic. Uh, he's good at, at drawing heat, you know what I mean? So uh, anytime he, you know, when I'm in, I'm, uh, in the tag match or, or in a singles and we're heels, you know, and having Scott there makes people hate us. So, yeah, I think he's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, Slarty Bardfast here in our chat room, he wants to know if you know of uh, the TNA towel guy, the fan in the front row that twirls the towels. Uh, I, don't, I don't know any of them personally. Oh, okay. I, well, he's just wondering what you thought of him. Uh, if you didn't know he's there. I think he's great because he comes to all the shows. <laughs> right. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Hambone, he wants to know uh, Canadian bacon or the uh, real American bacon? <laughs> yeah, I, would, I think I'd look foolish if I didn't say Canadian bacon. Oh, Canadian okay. bacon. <laughs> Is Canadian bacon really ham? Do you call it Canadian bacon in Canada? Uh Canadian bacon in Canada is just bacon, but thicker. Canadian bacon here is, is like fried ham, so it's two different things. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we get that. We do things a little differently up there. Like, our milk comes in bags. I don't know if you've ever heard that. But no. Bags yeah. of milk? Yeah, bags of milk. Man, no wonder uh, we don't like Canada. No, I'm just yeah, that's it. That's one of the big reasons, I think. <laughs> uh, what are some of your uh, favorite uh, teams to work with in TNA? Uh, it, I mean, we I thought we had really good chemistry with AMW. We had a, it was a run there. We, we switched the titles back and forth a couple times. And one of my favorite matches with them uh, was that uh, trying to think, Victory Road, I think it was. Uh, we had a tag match with them, and it was uh, one of the best matches I've ever had here. And I like working with them. I like working with Naturals. Uh, I like working with uh, like doing the vignette stuff. Just you know, being around Alex Shelley. Me and him have been friends for a long time, so that was fun. But uh, all the guys here are really cool to work with. You know, working with the Dillies was cool. I learned a lot working with them. They're a great tag, and uh, they've been a good tag for a long time. So working with them was really cool. Yeah. You a fan of the Shelly Cam? What was that? Are you a fan of the Shelly Cam? I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm a fan of Alex Shelly, uh, period. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. <laughs> Any uh, teams that you haven't worked with you'd like to? Here? Yeah. Or singles guys? Uh, huh. Trying to think of if there's teams that we never really did anything with Diamond in the Rough, but I mean they're a heel group, we're a heel group, so that's that's more likely why. Um, but I mean I've pretty much you know got, got got to wrestle most of the people that I wanted to, you know, and, and I got to wrestle all a lot of the top tag, tag teams here, so uh, it's been a it's been a cool experience for me. Uh, Jobber to the Stars wants to know if you have any uh, good rib stories. If I have good what stories? Rib. Like playing ribs on rib anybody stories? or ribs played on you? No, I'm I'm really only funny on TV, to be honest. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm not funny in real life. I don't know. There's, I mean, I've heard some funny ribs from other guys, but uh, you have to ask those guys. Uh, I know Dave Young pulled a really good one on Michael Shane in Mexico. So if you ever talk to one of those guys, you ask them about that. All right, we'll write that one down. The the tassels remark had me. I was laughing on that one. So <laughs> earlier, <laughs> really, you so. can tie the tassels to the top rope. Hmm. That'd be a good rib. Uh, Finley Effect, he wants to know if you've ever wrestled uh, Necro Butcher. Uh, what was that? Necro Butcher, have you ever uh, worked with him? Mm, yeah, I've never been on a show with him. I know the name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't know. I've never, I don't think I've ever worked on a show with him. Yeah. Was it hard to get used to the uh, six sided ring? Uh, it was a little strange at first, um, but now, I mean, I'm used to it. It's almost the same thing, just a couple extra sides. In, like, a tag match, you kind of got to watch where you, where you shoot the guy off the ropes and stuff, but other than that, it, it, it just looks it just looks different. It sets us apart. It, you know, it's, it's kind of neat to work in, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, which do you like better? Or do you, uh, it doesn't matter. I, I, I mean, if I was to choose, I would say four sides, because I'm, I'm more used to working in four sides than... But, I mean, either which way. I mean, the TNA one, if I'm working in the six side one, it means I'm on TV, so that's cool. Yeah. You got another question? Uh, Intro? 
You got one, Barb? Well, how's your health? Uh, I heard you had a bit of a health scare recently. Yeah, uh, I mean, my health is fine. Like, even when uh, I had the surgery, it, it doesn't affect, like, my overall health. It's just my voice will start to get weak. Like, I won't be able to yell as loud or to raise my voice. So I have mm-hmm. to get the, the, the polyps removed. Um, I got The last time I got them removed, I had complications with the anesthesia after mm-hmm. the surgery, like not during the surgery. Mm-hmm. Um, I was in the recovery room, and I stopped breathing on my own because my throat had swollen up, and I had uh, some complications from the anesthesia. So they ended up having to hook uh, a respirator to me to get me breathing and stuff again. But uh, luckily, I didn't experience it. I mean, I was asleep when it happened, so it's not like, like I, you know, it was like someone telling me a story about someone else stop breathing. When they when they finally told me what would that had happened, yeah, that's but uh, I, I didn't experience it myself. Did you have any uh, any um, other serious injuries uh, wrestling in the ring? Uh I broke in my ankle. Uh, I did that on like a on an indie show in Indiana somewhere, and uh, I wrestled. I had to wrestle the next day. We did a six man with uh, AMW and Dusty Rhodes. So if you watch old tapes, you'll see it. Like I don't have any laces on my boot because my my ankle and my foot were so swollen, I couldn't put my boot on with laces. Mm-hmm. So I had to pull the boot on and, and tape it on my foot. So that was interesting. Uh, I wrestled, uh, with, I broke my wrist uh, at a pay-per-view. They did a gauntlet. I can't remember what pay-per-view it was, but I got crush slammed over the top. And when I hit, I, I, I fell backwards and put my arm back. It was my fault. I put my wrist down. I broke my wrist. I didn't know it was broke until I got back to Nashville and got x-rays and stuff, I wrestled three matches the next day on TV, so. Yeah. Uh, someone here in our chat room, Kara Suma, they want to know, um, how do you, do you think uh, it's good for TNA when uh, WWE guys like Christian, et cetera, jump over to TNA? Uh, I think it is. I mean, it's, you know, name recognition and having Christian come over, uh, I've been friends with him for a long time, so it was cool to have him there, and he made a decision to come over on his own, you know what I mean? It's not like he was... Not like he was let go or fired. He no, made the yeah. decision all on his own. You know, he could have, you know, stayed there and been there, and and, and uh, so he made the decision on his own to come here. And I think that can only help us. You know, you know, uh, one in the eyes of guys that work there. You know, now it's a viable option for them. Mm-hmm. And also to have a name like him on the show and a guy that works as hard and is as talented as he is. I mean, it can only help all of us. If you so are, you mentioned uh, before we went live that TNA is pretty much all you do these days. Uh, yeah. Are you in, are you enjoying just having more time for yourself? Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, I haven't had a real job in like four years, so you're never going to hear a complaining word out of my mouth. That's for sure. <laughs> um, if you did uh, turn uh, babyface, uh, what guys from Team Canada would you uh, like to work with? Uh, my, my number one would be Bobby Roode. Uh, we worked a, a bunch up in Ontario together. Um, we did a, a, a dark for the WWE against each other. We've got really good chemistry, and our minds are in the same spot, you know, and uh, the matches would be, like, would be incredible. I know that for sure. I would pour everything I have, and I know you would too. And uh, a lot of times when friends work each other, you know, it makes for really good matches. So yeah. that's what happens uh uh, I mean, I'm excited because it's, it's a it's a viable option. I think that's where it's heading. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I remember you teaming with Bobby Roode on Heat once. Yeah, we uh, we tagged on uh, Velocity actually against uh, FBI. Yeah. The the Joe Louis Arena in Detroit. Uh, before I let you go here, because we got to wrap this up. Um, anything you want to tell your fans out there? Uh, I just say thanks for watching TNA and uh, you know thanks for the support and. Uh, I get emails and stuff, and, you know, people saying, you know, I like your character, and, you know, you make me laugh, and, you know, you're entertaining, and this and that, and just to say, you know, thanks for watching, and thanks for the compliments, and, and uh, you haven't seen nothing yet, so uh, that's all I can say. Cool. Really uh, appreciate you coming on here today. Thanks a lot. Love to have you back this time. No problem, guys. Thank you. Yeah. This is Sanjay Dot, the original player from the Himalaya, or maybe you know me as the guru. And you know what? Every time I want to know the wrestling news, I want to know who's going where. I want to know who's doing who. I go to inyourheadonline.com and I pick up all the news.